Hi, welcome to the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Patea, the show where we talk about things that are happening right here, right now, as well as general news, tips, information and advice. And today, I'm all the way down in Jong Tien, and I've got someone with me that, if you may remember, what was it, how long ago was it, Phil? Two years? Two and a half years. Two and a half years ago. Yeah, yeah. Two and a half years ago, I was talking to this man, and well, to be honest, things weren't good, were they? No, no, it was, it was hard, and we'd just come off the back of being presented with the the breakfast That's award right, for yeah. you guys, and yeah. thanks for voting. Um, and then things just went downhill with, oh, with COVID, yeah. and it just, it, everybody, it's, it's hurt oh, everybody. Horrific, and, yeah. And now when you start looking back, sometimes we forget how difficult it was during those yeah. times. Um, but the staff, we, we tried to support the staff, they've stayed yeah. with me, and now they're showing that loyalty back. And Fantastic. So well, we're here at Cheap Charlie's uh, in John Tien. Now, you're probably thinking, hang on, I thought Cheap Charlie's was in Soy Bacal, because there is, but there's actually two now, and this is what I wanted to talk to Phil about, because if you go back, I'll put a link to the old uh, video we did way, way back when we did the breakfast, because he does, mm. he, he does a mean breakfast. But that was, like you said, it was just, everything was going in the right direction. Bang, in came the, the closure, the shutdown, everything, and it was just a rip. But you've come right the way through it. You've not only managed to go through all the ups and downs, which we'll talk about, but you're now here in your second restaurant here in John Tien. Yeah, yeah. Well, the irony of, of it is, as COVID was hitting, we were looking at a second Cheap Charlie's. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Here, in these premises. We actually looked at these premises oh, wow. about three weeks before COVID hit, then forgot about it completely. Um, and then as things, we started to come through things, um, I ended up having a chat with, with Mark, Mark yeah. Reed from The Pantry. Yeah. Um, and he randomly suggested, oh, have you thought about a, a Cheap Charlie's in John Tien? So mm -hmm. we had the chat and he said, oh, I've, I've arranged to, to pop and have a look at a place. Fantastic. We come around and it's the same place same I place. looked at two and a half years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, everything sort of fitted together and we went on from there. And I can imagine if I'd have said to you two and a half years ago when we were in the depth of what we were in, you're going to have another restaurant in John Tien as well come the outcome. You'd have probably laughed me out the door. I'd have probably said I'd be happy to keep the one that I've got. Yeah, yeah, because it was very emotional, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that's how difficult it got. You're trying to help all the all the, the staff in, mm. uh, and trying to keep yourself going as well, and it's it's difficult every day when you go from doing the volume that we were doing down to 30 takeaways a day. It yeah. uh, doesn't pay many bills. No, and of course you had quite a few staff. How many staff did you have then? 22. 22. Yeah. And out of those 22, how many have you managed to keep? Because I know you bust your balls to try and keep them here and try and give them as much support financially as you could. I mean, how many have you got? Well, four of the girls had boyfriends, so yeah. they went back to the, to okay. the villages. Oh, gotcha. um, the rest all stayed, all wow. stayed with us. So, 18. Yeah, some of them are now working here in John Tien because it's closer to where how they cool are living. Is that? And how cool is that? We're a family. The well, whole thing I is want to shake your hand because that is very, very commendable. That really is. I mean, honestly, to keep 18 staff out of 22, through two years of what has effectively been hell, let's be honest. Two of the others came back. The ones with the boyfriends came back Didn't to they? the village, yeah, so we're only too light of what we had before. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. So what's been the, 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 the thought process coming here to John Tien? Why John Tien? Why not like Pratanak or Naklua? Why, why not another one in, in Bacau? Why did you come here? It all felt about the location. Mm -hmm. um, and my background is I'm a chef. I was looking for a, a business in Patia really for 15 years. Right, okay. And then when the opportunity came up in Soy Bacau, it was the location that pulled me there. Mm. So the same thing, uh, same thought process came into coming here. Where, where do I think a Cheap Charlie's would work? Mm. And speaking to a lot of the guys who were eating in Cheap Charlie's and saw the cow, they were saying, oh, we, we travel from John Tien for breakfast in the morning before we play golf, because you're the only one yeah. open. We come over from the dark side. Yeah. And, and they were saying, well, if you had one in John Tien, it would be closer, so it sort of, listening to what, what so people's needs were there, and, yeah. Yeah, and then giving it a go. Well, because Soy 5, I mean, Soy 5, if you're not sure why I'm sort of grinning when I say Soy 5, Soy 5 is immigration. You've got to come here every 90 days, you've got to do your stamp and all the other stuff. So, I mean, literally, you have got the best soy in John Tin because it's probably the most visited. Seconds are probably maybe Soy 7, I guess, maybe around. Yeah. But Soy 5, I mean, what a great... And you're right by the sea. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Put just, all those bits together and that, that gave us the, the idea of, Mark's input into that was was priceless. So it's you're all happy now. Yeah, he's smart. Yeah, he's done his hair. You mean you made a hair sculpture? <laughs> What's that about? No. I, I tell you what. I tell you what you're doing. It. You're dyeing it now before it goes grey. Because I used to. Do I dye it when it goes <laughs> grey. <laughs> I used to do the same. I used to do the same. So we're here now. In terms of the, because obviously you, you want in Soy Bacal, That's brilliant. You know, it's got a very very good reputation. Done fantastic there. 
In terms of coming here to John Tien, how has it panned out in, in comparison to maybe what you expected? Is it exceeding your expectations? Is it a kind of where you think it would be? Or is it not really hitting the market? Where are you with things? Way in front of. Are you? Of, yeah. Of, 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 when you, when everybody, anybody sets up a new business, you've got a period of um, progress that you think it's going to take this long for us to get to, yeah. to where we want to be. We're, we're, we're way in front of, of, of where we plan to be, yeah. And has it had an impact on the Bacal? In the Bacau restaurant? We thought it would. Mm. Uh, and initially, um, those people that were travelling from John Tien and from the dark side obviously take that away from, yeah. from Bacau. Yeah. Um, now, both places are, are thriving. Oh, and no. we took, before we opened, we took, took on some staff and took them down to Bacau and trained them, Train them in the house yeah. so that there is only one cheap Charlie's Way. We don't want mm. somebody to walk into one and say, oh, you do that differently. So the reward card system is the same. You can yeah. use reward card in both places, Free the specials card, are the same brilliant. every day, yeah. um, just to, to replicate it. If it's, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and in terms of reward card, could you just explain that to the viewers, Phil, what's the reward card? This is cr it's a cracking deal. Listen to this. It's 199 baht, uh, and each one lasts for four months. Um, it entitles you to as many refills as you want, tea and coffee with the main breakfast. But the, the main selling point is the specials. Whatever the special price is, on the blackboard, with a reward card, you only pay 99 baht. And the way we sell it is, if you have the sirloin steak, uh, eggs, tomato and fries on the Saturday, and the roast lamb on the Sunday, you've paid for the reward card in two meals. Wow, there you go, 99 baht. And, they, and the, the big portions, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the whole ethos behind this was good food at a reasonable price. It doesn't please everybody all the time, as I'm sure I'm, you understand. I'm gonna say that, that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interrupt you on that one because I'm going to say you do very good food at incredibly good prices, not reasonable. They're very, very good prices. The quality of the food that you get is very, very good. I, mean, I eat there quite a lot and you, you do some really, really good food at very, very good prices. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not, not cheap by any means. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It really is. And the nice thing about it is that you keep the, co the consistency and the quality of your food. Yeah. It's yeah. always been good. Always been good. So guys, if, you haven't, if you're not sure, I'll put a link in the description. Honestly, if you come here for two weeks, get yourself the reward card. It's, it's, it's a, it's a no-brainer. It's yeah. a no-brainer. How many, how many members have you got in the reward card? Uh, 650. Have you? 650. Yeah. Damn, you, that's brilliant. That's fantastic. One thing I want to ask you, though, is obviously, Phil, I, I remember you from, like we said before, like back in the, the Bacal day and when it was like tough, etc. Now you've come here, but you're not on your own here now, are you? No, no. Um, again, it was, it was quite ironic. Mark, who... Um, Owns the, the the pantry expats store in John Tien, uh, came and ate with us for six, seven, eight days, and we had a chat every evening. And then I went to pick some stuff up from from his place mm. um, one afternoon, and he, he said, "Have you got five minutes to talk?" Hour and a half later, then the seeds had been sown, and, and that's it. And that's how we ended up ended up here and looking at a place that we'd re I'd revisited two and a half years previous. To that's it. incredible. Because one thing I always think is quite a challenge is. You're used to doing everything your way. It's, it, I mean, certainly in Bacow, it was yours or that was it. You had the final word. Now, how's it, how's it working out working with someone like, like Mark and obviously having joint decisions rather than like the sole decision? Very good. Obviously, there, there, are, there are times, not you disagree, but, but um, you have talking points that need to be discussed. But right from the start, we said the brand leads what we do. Mm -hmm. What we do, yeah. we do well, so we don't need to change that. But that doesn't mean that um, Mark doesn't come in with ideas or we don't listen to what people are saying, both in uh, what we're doing at the present and how we go forward. Do we change the, the specials? How do we structure certain things? And the things that Mark has brought to the table that we've taken to both places mm -hmm. to, to make it better for, for everybody. Yeah. Staff, customers, kitchen, kitchen staff, everybody. But actually working together is fine. Then. So where do you spend most of your time? Are you here or are you in the Bacau or do you kind of go between the two? Um, here almost every day are you? at some stage, okay. but okay. more time spent in, in Bacau. Uh, whereas Mark is basically based here mm -hmm. doing the day-to-day the, the -day running of, of, of managing of this place. Yeah. Well, that's interesting though, isn't it? Like you've, you've taken that step. You've gone from like being the man to now like obviously working alongside with Mark. You and Mark are doing this venture here, which is fantastic. And it's just this, it's a challenge, isn't it, mentally? Because 
well, that, that was my decision and that's his decision. I mean, do you have like little like, oh, if he does it that way and it goes wrong, I, can, I told you so. No, <laughs> no, we're quite, quite open with each other. I think we're probably the same sort of personality that if something needs saying, then we say it. Yeah. Um, we have a meeting every week. We have a, an accounts meeting every month and you know, plenty of time to sit down and, and discuss things. And if some things do come up, sort it out, clear the air, in contact all day, every day, if there are issues. Okay. Um, my background is kitchens, Mark's background is front of house. So yeah, works it, well then. Works well, yeah, yeah. In terms of your menu, how often do you change the dishes? Do you, do you rotate it around quite a lot or is it a pretty much set menu that you think, right, that's our, that's our given and we'll just add little bits and pieces? In? One of the problems that, that we went through is the specials. Okay. People see a gammon steak on a Wednesday they come back the following Wednesday and we've changed the specials and put it on on Thursday and say, well, where's the gammon steak? Yeah. So some things are now set in stone that more than my life's worth if we change it. <laughs> Other things we're adding to it each time. Um, there's a, a local company that make a, a mince and potato pasty. Mm. Somebody who's making us a, a salmon fish cake. All fresh produce is coming enough. into us <laughs> from, from local suppliers. So, mm. so some of it we add to it. The basic menu will, will always stay the same mm -hmm. with a few changes every probably every six months okay i gotcha so of course you know you've you've gone from bacal now to john tien what's the next one if i told you the list of people that have said <laughs> i want one in koh panyang <laughs> chiang rai bangkok Niklua, the dark side yeah they're just the ones that i can remember off the top of my head well i was going to say Niklua, pratanak or the dark side that were they were my three <laughs> to, i think commuting to copangang might be a little bit difficult although you might actually up, up sticks and say sod it i'm going down there well i know a guy who's worked there for seven years oh, gotcha. a, i took him on as a chef but he was 16 17 years ago wow. we're still in contact and he's just been over to, to thailand and to, to patio and he said yeah. to, to give me a couple of years and We'll, I'll have a look. We'll do Koh Phan Yeah. So, all jokes aside, is there a, is there a future? Like, is there another one coming up? Do you think? In a, I know you've only recently opened this place, so you've still got to find your feet here and all the rest of it. But moving forward, is because you've done one. I, I tend to find when you've got one on its own, that's okay. But when you start branching out to like two, two, you think actually that's not as hard as I thought in terms of like the actual management. Is there three? Is there three on the horizon? Well, let's ask these guys. There you go, guys, all right? So where, where do you want the next Cheap Charlie's? You find the location and tell us where we should be and we'll look into it. Dark side. <laughs> well, it's only because I live over there. Well, I live in Waiyai, so it'd be even better if you could do that. Oh, look, I think it, one of your stars, it's okay, you can come in, don't worry. <laughs> he didn't want to come in. Oh, look, there's a little, little one. <laughs> Brilliant. So there you go, dark side. If you fancy having a, a Cheap Charlie's on the dark side, I'd say just at the top of uh, Kautalo, by the Kaunoi Junction, just up there, that'd be... That'd be spawn because I come in the back way through that way, so that'd be handy for me. Find us a location. We'll go look. I'm off. Have a look around. <laughs> I'll have a look around. So now you've now you've got two restaurants. I mean, how is it in terms of how do you relax? Because I'm guessing you've got double the workload now, so I'm probably not much relaxing. Hopefully, over over time there will be relaxation. Hopefully, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what are you going to do when you relax? What's going to be your relax? Golf. Yeah, ah. love my golf. Well, Cheap Charlie's had a, a, a team in the. Uh, there's a competition called the Colonial um, Texas Scramble, run oh, okay. by the Colonial Bar in the Clua, Yes. Paul yeah. Brooksy. And we put a team in it and managed to get our names on the on the trophy on Saturday. So Did you? Yes. The grin says it all. Oh, yes. The grin says it all. So what did you play off? A, a, a very bad 21. 21? That's, that's much better than I can play. I'm normally in the trees or the wood. I, I can't play. I give up. I hate golf. I don't hate it, but I just can't play it. So I dislike it because I can't play it. But... Uh, <laughs> But so you're gonna you're gonna have a golf society here, maybe. The only problem we we've, we've looked into that at both places, but it's the parking. In Bacow, oh, it's yeah. difficult. Yeah. If you want to bring people back to a place to enjoy it afterwards, you've either got to provide the the transport or provide the parking. Both places are are difficult. So we we may have a an away day and do something right. like that, uh, maybe on the anniversary of, of opening something something oh, like okay. that because Mark plays plays golf does he yeah is yeah. he better than you much better is he oh, yes i could yeah. see the resentment when you said yeah he's much better than me <laughs> i know how you feel i really do know how you feel in terms of external catering do you do any external catering on um christmas day last year we did um outside catering at uh, hustler bar on oh in the uh, third, third road yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 they they asked us if we'd put together a christmas um dinner uh, initially it was for 10 people we ended up doing 37, 37. in one sitting. Oh dear. Yeah, that was, it was great fun, great atmosphere. Um, but, and again, in terms of other things, if we're asked to do it, then 
we find a way. We have, yeah. a, we have a satellite kitchen here in John Tien oh, okay. that we built upstairs. So that anything that extra that we need to do, we have the facility there to be able to do it without it interfering with the day-to-day Right. Catering downstairs. And what about deliveries to how to homes now? Are you on any of the uh, apps or do you? Do we were on Hungry Now oh, until yeah. they did a runner. Yeah. And if I'm really honest, it's difficult to, to, to go with Grab because we call ourselves Cheap Charlies. With the amount they put on it, we would have to call ourselves almost Cheap Charlies. Yeah. And yeah. would our customers still go for that with the added price? So we've We've steered clear of it at the moment, but okay. not saying that it's, it's out of the question. Yeah, I must admit, I, I'm a little bit like that myself. Sometimes I, I know the price and I'm thinking, dude, come on, like, I can even get on a taxi myself and go down and pick it up and bring it back for less than that. So, Well, when we were closed, almost closed during lockdown, we even had one of the girls on a bicycle doing local deliveries. A bicycle? Why don't you give her a motorbike? The motorbike was already out. The only thing we'd got left was a bicycle. So, <laughs> and the guy had broken his leg and he was on the 10th floor of one of the sets oh, of condos. No. So we had to get it in, get past security and get it up to him. So she's there on a push bike. Yes. Bless her. Is she still with you? She's, she's moved to this one. Fun. She's moved down here now. Brilliant. Well, there you go. Have you upgraded her now? She got, <laughs> yes. She... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, listen, it's been fun. I'm, I'm, do you know what? The reason I really was really looking forward to doing this video because without getting into too much personal deal, it really did hit you hard, didn't it? The, the closure. Yeah. I mean, it really yeah. did. You know, and I know... You know, everyone, I know everyone had a tough time, I'm not saying they didn't, and I know it was very, very difficult for business owners, but I just felt like knowing you as, as I did and, and seeing what you went through, I, it just really did rip you apart. And the nice thing is now you're here and almost got through everything completely, and I, I'm just so pleased with it. I really well, am. Well, the reasons for doing it are, they become personal in the end, because the staff mean something to you. You, you, you would feel as if you were letting them down. Yeah. Um, so staying open was the idea to come through it and yes have a business at the end of it but also to have the people with you yeah well you've done fantastic you've done fantastic so guys come down to cheap charlie's as i said we've got one in john tien uh soy five come down here you can't miss it when you turn it off the beach road uh, very easy to find go to soy Bacow. if you're not sure in soy Bacow, the best location is by the hospital go into the main main road there the hospital what you 100 metres from the hospital. Yeah, yeah, no, so uh, have a look there, and you're almost kind of opposite Soy Diana, aren't you? Kind of at a dog leg sort of yeah. thing. Um, but pop in, and, uh, and you know, honestly, the food is great. Check out that reward card. Now, sir, before we let you go, I've got one question for you. You sat thinking, you didn't do this last time. <laughs> so the question is, I've got a guy watching the channel right now, never, ever been to Patea before, never been to Thailand, has no idea what to expect. I'm going to sit him down here with you and say, right, Phil, give him your words of wisdom. What are you going to tell him? Come to Patea with an open mind. Let things happen around you and just enjoy it. Listen to the advice of people who've been here before, but then go and do it and enjoy your own thing. It's, it's a great place to come, a great place to enjoy, mm. and you meet great people. And try not to fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of people that message me say, well, I've met this girl, and I know you keep saying about the three-day rule, but she's really nice and she's different. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't say she's different, please. But anyway, each there. My friend's been fantastic. Thank you so much indeed. It's been a pleasure. Honestly, guys, Cheers, come down and, uh, and check out the, the, either restaurant. You won't be disappointed. All right, so that's it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, video. Like I say, all the links, all the descriptions will be down below, so come and check them out and get yourself down here. You're a stone throw, literally, even with my arm, I, I reckon I could hit the, the, the sea with a stone from here. So you literally are right on the very edge. Soy 5, it's the, it's the immigration soy. But anyway, get down here, come check it out. Come say to Phil Watermark, both really, really nice guys. All right, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. If you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video, check out our Discord. Uh, Phil's on there with Discord. There's plenty of uh, information about the specials of the day and all the food, etc. So have a look on there. There's... 18,350 members now and it's growing by the by the dozen every day which is fantastic and if you'd like to support the channel there is a link in the description below membership starts with as little as 89 pence a month all right that's it for me that's it from phil thank you very much for watching and please wherever you are in the world stay safe <laughs>